we understand the, from sources that the finance ministry has given the Reserve Bank an in-principle approval for fix, flexible MSS bond limits. So the RBI will decide on the FY17 MSS cap as and when needed. Lata joins in with more on this. Hi, Lata. This was expected and now the bo ball in the Reserve Bank's court. Oh, absolutely. But if it was an in-principle nod, which the finance ministry has to give RBI, why the delay? Why did we have to have a killer CRR? Mm. Simply because people were not ready with permissions. Uh, this seems to be another uh, angle of mismanagement or lack of uh, forethought. Uh, by all concerned, uh, a, a little bit of uh, jitters in the banking stocks, in the bond markets could all have been avoided if this uh, MSS limit permission was granted as early as November 9th or 10th or 11th. Everyone knew there would be a rush of deposits. Everyone knew Reserve Bank has only 7 lakh crore of deposits. Everyone knows the Reserve Bank cannot manage the intrabank liquidity if banks had deposits more than 7 lakh crore. Uh, all it required was a permission from the Finance Ministry to the Reserve Bank. It did not require parliamentary nod. Uh, it's uh, uh, unnecessary and unwarranted that uh, the markets uh, had to go through this kind of confusion at a time when there were already enough disturbing influences on the markets. Uh, in any case, uh, it's come. So chances are the Reserve Bank will nevertheless wait till December 7th, uh, give us their idea of how much they want to cut or not cut. Chances are they will cut either 25 or 50. That's the market consensus. Mm -hmm. And only then sell the bonds so that they can sell it at lower yields. So the introduction of MSS bonds means an 